How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back with another Forza Horizon 5 video today. As you may be aware, Xbox gave me the opportunity to play a limited version of Forza Horizon 5. It wasn't a demo, but it was single player only. There's a few unfinished things such as the car list still isn't final even in the version I was playing. But nevertheless, with my time with the game, I have put a ton of content for together for you guys. So make sure to subscribe as over the next few weeks tons of Horizon 5 content. However, in particular, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at just loads of the new stuff, new options, new upgrades, new settings, new features, stuff like that, just compiled into one. There'll be a few which you've already heard of over the past few months of the Fort 2005 live streams. However, you may not have actually seen them on screen. So I'm going to show you them all and show you all the new stuff, as well as some gameplay of three new cars, which are quite exciting and we've not seen yet, so let's get started. One of the things I'm sure most of you know, but I'm gonna show you anyway, um, you can now have your engine sound in game changed by just putting a few upgrades on it. For example, now the air filter, the exhaust, the camshaft, and the turbo, if it has one, will all change the sound of your car. The air filter gives us a sort of a hissing sound with the air being sucked in. The exhaust simply just makes it sound different with a different exhaust. The camshaft gives it a bit of a higher pitch and makes it redline longer and redline quicker. And the turbo, obviously, we can all imagine what a turbo sound is. There you are. Now, there are even more upgrades you can do to your car now. Let me show you. There are now tons more transmission options. For example, not only is there now a race transmission, but there is a race transmission 7 speed, 8 speed, 9 speed, and 10 speed. If you want 10 gears in a race transmission in whatever car you want, you can. The other way around, if your car already has 8 gears, you can then put 9 or 10 in. It works all ways. Now, not only is there more transmissions, there are now also more diffs. You can have sport diff, race diff, rally diff, drift diff, and off-road diff. Obviously, if you know the physics behind it, you can guess that whatever diff you're using for whatever type of racing is going to help out. As for tyres, there are even more of them as well. Let's take a look. We have semi-slick race tyre, horizon semi-slick race tyre, slick race tyre, drift tyre, off-road tyre, off-road race tyre, snow tyre, drag tyre. There's a lot. Now, some cars have even more, maybe one or two, depending on what kind of car it is. But yeah, there's a lot more options now. Let's take a look at some other new stuff. Car mastery is still a thing where you can use skill points to buy certain perks for certain cars. And obviously, they've added a few different new things there, such as you can now buy Fortathon points through the car mastery. So technically, there's an unlimited supply of Forzathon points there, depending on how many cars you want to buy. And obviously there's all the new car mastery perks as well. I'm sure you may spot a few. Another new thing, as you can see while scrolling through cars, there is now a sixth stat on the left hand side. That is off-road. Basically gives you a number between 1 and 10 of what your car is rated for off-road. There's no longer 5, there's now 6 off-road. Something we all wanted in the last game, it's finally in Horizon 5, we all know about it already. This is how it works, you can now paint brake calipers for each individual car. It's in the paint menu as you can see over here, you simply go to it and then colour in whatever colour you want. I want red. And there you go, any brake caliper colour you want, stick it on any car you want, it's now doable. 
Another new thing is the car collections menu. We may have seen this on stream, however, as you also know, you can now get prizes for the more cars you collect of each manufacturer. An example of a prize right now is a rare emote. Or further down, as you can see here, this one gives you XP. Now, I presume the more cars there are for the reward, the better reward you get. But XP and the emotes, just some examples of the rewards you can get just for collecting cars. Another new thing, there is now a new difficulty in the AI difficulty menu. Um, it's not a high one, it's a really low one. If you go all the way to the bottom, there is now a tourist difficulty um, for racing. I can imagine it would be pretty difficult to lose on this one. In these settings, there's a bunch of new options. For example, the colorblind scale now isn't on or off. It's sort of got a zero to 100. So if you're only partially colorblind um, for one of the options, you can sort of tweak it up or down depending on your liking. There's quite a few different new settings. I'll let you look on screen at them. One of them that stands out is there is an offline game speed option. If you're playing offline single player, you can turn down the speed of your game such as, I presume, the AI drivers. It will sort of put the game into slow motion. Everything you drive will be normal, such as the cars, the sounds, that'll all be normal, but the game itself will play in slow motion to give you more time to react to on-screen events. Some more cool features, bonus XP boards, which you can find around the map, now play cool Mexican jazzy music when you stand near them. Have a listen. Just a cool little feature, I guess. Boards now play Mexican music. Now, cars people look forward to the most tend to be the higher speed cars, hypercars, supercars. Now, there are three cars I want to quickly show you a bit of gameplay of because I've got access to them. One of them is the McLaren GT. People love the McLaren GT. It's a car that people have been wanting in the previous titles. Now we've got it. Quick bit of gameplay. The next car is the Lotus, Ev I don't know how to pronounce this, if I'm honest, Evija, Evija, I don't know. But this is an electric car and my god is it fast. Have a bit of gameplay of it now on screen. This is in Forza Horizon 5. And last but not least, another fan favourite that people wanted to see, the Aston Martin Valhalla concept car. This is also in Forza Horizon 5. Let's have a look at some gameplay. Speaking of cars, we now know what specific vehicles are in the VIP pass. Three Forza editions which were known, now we know which ones they are. It is the 2011 BMW X5 M Forza edition, the 1969 Dodge Charger Forza edition and the 1999 Ford Racing Puma Forza edition. If you get the VIP pass, you'll get all three of these cars. Along with other things such as a few flares, a few emotes, some horns, a player house, um, a credit race reward, which is double, obviously, and weekly bonus super wheel spins. Now, as for the welcome pack, we know what cars are in the welcome pack as well. If you want to buy that, so you will get the Apollo IE welcome pack edition, the 2020 Ford Performance Bronco R, the 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 GSR, the 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S 
and the 1998 Toyota Supra Mark IV Welcome Pack Edition. So if you buy the Welcome Pack, you'll get those five cars. Honestly guys, I'm sure there's tons of more features and stuff and I'm sure I'll make more videos of more new stuff that I find. There will be a video on the channel at some point of all of the new horns, all of the new Forza editions and all of the stuff like that. So if you want to know all of the Forza editions, let me know in the comment section below which thing in this video you're looking forward to the most, which little feature. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 5 content guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you all later.